It's becoming increasingly clear that a contest is underway in the most vulnerable waters of the Indo-Asia Pacific. As mentioned earlier, on one side is a potential return of might makes right after more than 70 years of stability. On the other is a continuum of international rules-based system that has served us so well with limitless potential to continuing to do so. Attempts to justify these activities at sea are often based on channeling nationalistic history outward, the sort of thing that may stoke patriotism at home, but has no place among responsible nations in international waters. Uh, the implications are far beyond the scope of anything that's uh, military in nature. It's much broader than that.